Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Now, the question today comes from Rick, uh, W0EWN, and he has some uh, cable that is 150 ohm direct TV type of stuff. Um, each of uh, it's like two act two coax cables in one and so what you get is a nice shielded balanced 150 ohms now what he would like to do is use this cable because his HOA permits this kind of cable to be on the sides or roofs of people's houses now he's going to run it to a G5 RV I not sure I like that antenna, but it, it would work. Um, I think uh, you'd be far better off with the NFED half wave. Uh, the G5RV antenna can be difficult to tune. Okay, so um, let's take a look at how we do these balans. Okay, here's a balan. And this has got an equal turns ratio. Let's say there are... A uh, five here and five here for a total of ten. Now, if you take the ratio of the balance, okay, it's uh, five to ten, so it's two to one. Now, to to get the actual balance ratio, you've got to square this. This is because it's like a transformer. You have to take into account, well, it is a transformer. You have to take into account both current and voltage. Okay, so this is 2 to 1 squared is 4 to 1. This is a real common balance. You see them everywhere. Let's do something, though. We need to fix this so that we get, um, if we want 3 to 1, The turns ratio here has to be less than what it is for uh, a 4 to 1 balance. Okay, 3 to 1, 3 square root. We get 1.7. What we want is a turn ratio here that's 1.7. We're going to change this 1.7 times 5. but 866. Six. Um, so if you have five turns here, what we're going to want is a total of eight. Let's just put eight turns up here and see what happens. So let's, eight, let's just say eight turns total here, eight turns. So we add three turns here. So the ratio of turns is 8, all of the turns. This is an auto transformer balance, by the way. 8 divided by 5 is 1.6 ah, squared. 2.56. What would happen if we did 9 to 5? 2.56. Is the turns ratio not k to one? Okay, let's take eight and then let's nine divided by five. It's one point eight, and we're going to square that three point two four. Okay, so you can do this with either three or four turns here and five turns here, okay? And that'll get you one of these two numbers, which is close enough to feed uh, the, the other. Now, you can play with other ratios, but, you know, for RF, five turns is a fair number of turns, but you can put more, and then this will be the 50 ohms out, or it'll be slightly different if you have the antenna here. Okay? So there you have it. So what we learned from here is that 
you have to take the impedance ratio that you want and take the square root uh, because the impedance is going to be the square of the turns ratio. So the square root will be the turns ratio that you're looking for. Then uh, you can experiment with different numbers because the problem is with a uh, coil like a ballon. It uh, actually does matter that you have, uh, every time you put a turn through the coil, you get an integer addition to the number of turns. So you can play with ratios 4 to what, 5 to what, 6 to what, about in that ball game until you come up with a ratio that gives you what you want. And then you can wind that ballon. You could wind this on a core of an old 4 to 1 ballon uh, or something like that. This is called a voltage ballon. It's called an auto transformer because that's the way it's made. The ground connects in the middle of it and it should present 50 ohms unbalanced to the transmitter and 150 ohms to your antenna system. So good luck with your project. In the meantime, this is Dave, KE0OG, saying 73.